And we're back. First video of 2023. Today we're going to talk about Bitcoin, total market cap, Ethereum, and some altcoins, not many because they are still a dumpster fire waiting to happen. But I'm going to walk you through my expectations throughout 2023. If you like the sound of that and you want more altcoin reviews and once a week I cover the market update, subscribe to my channel, notification bell, and like, drop the video a like if you're liking the content. Let's talk about Bitcoin first of all and Bitcoin short term, not doing too bad at the moment. We've had some higher highs after we had this support coming in at the new year just before the year ended so you can see low volume but you can see this has a bit of a tail on the candle indicating that the market tried to sell off at the day but support came into the market and it's really really important when we have these sell-off days that support stays there so we don't come back and test this area so this is the candle i'm talking about right here so you can see selling came you can see the little wick at the bottom closes up high on the body that's really good that means support came to the market and we never looked back so you can see there it is a little bit of rejection at the short term 50 percent there at around that almost you know call it 17k mark at the yellow golden line at the moment and at the moment it's acting as support for the time being before we close off the week now we still do have a couple more hours before the end of the week at least another day and 14 hours before the end of the week so hopefully we stay above this golden yellow line at the 50 percent if we do that bitcoin's looking okay for the short term one of the things i'm really looking at as we continue to build this base is i'm looking at bitcoin's volume to start dropping off and we start to go sideways now low volatility can indicate prices will not further decrease at the moment which is mainly what we should be keeping our eyes on low volatility it can be bullish it can be bearish if the trend is down and the volume stays down we're probably going to continue down if we continue going up on low volume the trend will most likely continue upwards on a low volume day if the trend continues however in this situation we are obviously and you don't need me to tell you this we are on a downtrend but why do i say we need low volatility to continue this is because we need a accumulation phase we need the whales buying up this crypto while everyone is scared and we need them to do this for several months potentially even several years that's what happened during Bitcoin after the bull run that happened in 2017. After 2017, guys, we had the dip, we had the low, and you had this accumulation happening before we had the final dip and we started to go sideways for you know almost basically a year between 2018 and 2019. And when it did, it roared, it came back down, it tested, and then it just went on this meteoric rise. Well, that's what we're waiting at this point with Bitcoin, but at the moment, we're just waiting for the accumulation phase to begin. It looked like it was happening in June. If you were following my videos, I was saying, okay, well, there's your, there's your June low, and this is basically basically several months of accumulation right here. This is, and I was pretty confident in it, but unfortunately we had the FTX scandal, Sam Bankman fried crushed the market because he's a douche. And of course, now we have to start rebuilding at a new level. And at the moment we have some support, which is good, like I showed you before, but we need this to continue to be support and not dip below 15 and a half K for several months, at least six months, maybe even the whole year throughout 2023. If we have that on low volume, that's enough indication to say the smart money is buying. If if we have a look at Ethereum, Ethereum is currently doing this. And I'm pretty confident in it because Ethereum has been doing it for a very, very, very long time. So here's Ethereum. There's your June low. And you can see we are still hovering since June. So basically a solid eight months almost of just sideways accumulation for Ethereum. Ethereum will continue to go sideways and it still has a major support at $881 as we continue to build through this. That's why I'm really bullish on Ethereum because every other altcoin, we don't know what, what it's going to do. Is it going to do a Solana where it's going to go from $250 to, to $10? Are we going to do a Cardano where it goes from $2 to 30 cents. We don't know, but Ethereum, you can bet your ass that it's going to do very, very well in this bull run. And it's a very safe pick. That's why I love Ethereum. I don't look at Ethereum in terms of its project and its fundamentals. I look at purely from a risk perspective. How confident am I that I'm going to be able to get a juicy return? Because if I'm super confident, I can get pretty aggressive in my investing with Ethereum. I use the word investing and not trading because this is a long-term plan, guys. So from Ethereum, if you really believe Ethereum is going to touch its all-time high again at some point in the next year, year or two, then you have a juicy, almost 292% increase, almost 300% increase from where it is today. So if you want to triple your money and you're pretty sure Ethereum is going to do it, you're going to do it really well. And you can put hundred K on there and get 300 K back. I'm not saying everyone has hundred K. I'm not saying I do, but I'm just trying to give you an example of, you know, that it's going to do it. You're pretty confident. And hence your risk is low. Is Solana going to go back to 250? We don't know. If you believe it, you might want to chuck some money on it. Not financial advice, but that's how you want to start looking at the markets in terms of a risk perspective. How sure are you of this thing touching an all time high and 
uh, passing that all-time high. There's a lot of cryptos that put in an all-time high in 2017 and 2018 and 2020 and 2021 and never touch them again. So you want to be careful if it doesn't do that again because there's new projects, new hype, new people coming into crypto and you just don't know what the narrative is going to be in the next bull run. Is it going to be layer one, layer ones, layer twos, metaverses? We don't know. Privacy? We don't know. Uh, we'll know when the time comes. But for now, Ethereum is a beautiful place to put your money into as the crypto phase begins its accumulation phase if Bitcoin can hold this 15 and a half K. Notice that I'm a little bit worried on Bitcoin because we've only just started this accumulation phase once again because of the FTX scandal from November. So that's basically right here at this longer candle going down. So high, open, low, close, not what you want to see. And now we must begin our journey sideways for several months as we continue to can make hopefully higher highs on low volatility, indicating that the selling pressure has ceased. If we do get more collapses in terms of exchanges or new regulations, that's going to put further pressure on Bitcoin. But hopefully we've had enough bad news throughout 2022 that the bad news subsides in 2023 and the smart money can start having more faith and start accumulating Bitcoin. They are accumulating ETH. I'm pretty confident on that because ETH still hasn't broken that June support. I was expecting Bitcoin to have a similar move, but unfortunately it hasn't indicating it's weaker than Ethereum at the time for the time being. If we have a look at USDT Tether, you can see it's actually done extremely well. This is looking at it on a weekly chart and you can just see higher highs coming in and this is people entering the market, right? These are people coming into the crypto market. So when people say crypto is dead, people are leaving it. No, you can see USDT is still putting up very, very close to all time highs. And that's not because people are leaving crypto. It's because they're leaving it in USDT, waiting to use that USDT to trade its pairing with other cryptos. That's why it's still bullish on USDT and crypto as a whole. If crypto was down, if Bitcoin was down, ETH was down and USDT was down, that means everyone's leaving crypto. But hopefully this chart, I don't see many other YouTubers talking about the importance of this chart. This is one of the most important charts in all of crypto because it shows you people are still getting into crypto. They need a trading pair to trade these, these coins with and they're using USDT. So hence, USDT dominance is down. People are in crypto at least, which is at least something to be positive about. At the moment, USDT had its pump on November. This is when the FTX scandal happened. So you can see big volume coming in, high open, low open, high close, a bit of a double top playing out right here at around that 8.5%. And as we continue to go sideways, and this is why I say altcoins are, will continue to go down because USDT is still still at a very, very high dominance, a bit of a bull flag formation happening at the moment with the breakout bar or the breakout candle still being there. What do I need for altcoins to have a bit more confidence? Well, first of all, we need USDT to crash and burn past its 50% and basically go down past its breakout bar. So breakout bar would be there, right there at around that 7%. If you can break those two barriers, then we're probably going to touch the low of about 5.63% dominance, see if we get support there or not. But again, I don't like trading altcoins for the time being. There's no volatility. They're too risky. And you can just see Bitcoin and ETH are just still juicy buys, especially ETH. USDC is the supposed better than Tether, more regulated, more healthier as well. You can see very similar to USDT, uh, meteoric rise, found support at around that 4% dominance. And now at the moment, battling is 50%. We'll see where it lands for the time being, but volatility drying up, which is good for the time being. If we look at total market cap one, you can see some support coming in from the low. It is dipping slightly below it with the wicks. So you wanna be careful a little bit about that as we continue to grind our way sideways. But this is mainly Ethereum and stable coins that are holding up this level. So hopefully that holds up. If we continue to do that, things are looking good. If we look at total market cap two, you can see there it is again, June support holding it. Again, that is ETH mainly holding up this area and if we have a look at total market cap three where it doesn't include bitcoin doesn't include eth but all other coins including altcoins you can see broke that june low hence you will see more altcoins bleed even if there's a relief rally or coins will bleed for the time being until we get some major support coming in which i don't see happening for several months maybe not even throughout 2023 there is a, some short-term trading to be had but i think most people like to buy and hodl because it's easier hence if that's your strategy eth is still the one to get out of all of them and it's very very easy picking it's boring, it's slow, but it works. Some altcoins that are just to be a little bit wary of, Arweave continues to be a little bit worried, although some volume is coming into this market. So it could be good for a short term long trade potentially. But again, always have stop losses, look at your risk, because this is one that can crash and burn quite quickly because that whole Solana ecosystem
system is going down. Cardano sitting at that 27 cent as well. You can see volatility starting to drop. Hence, people are starting to buy. This is on a weekly. So you can see some volume start to drop, indicating that the trend may be reversing and we are due for some up weeks. Now, again, selling is done. There's just too much selling pressure. We're due for some, some movements upwards. If we and, and what I like about Cardano, along with other several alts, even though the volume is low on the green bars, you can see a full body basically where basically the candle is closing low open where basically the candle is opening low and closing high full body basically okay you don't see much wicks indicating very very strong demand for cardano uh, so look for cardano potentially to have a breakout but again these are very very low short-term trades and at any point these things can crash with even the slightest bit of news that's why again eth is still the buy doge i've been talking about this one on my channel about shorting it it has uh, basically hit that short and sitting at a nice profit at the moment but for now it is looking like it's going to go up egld getting some major support as well you can see a long wick down the bottom opens up high weekly close as well so crypto potentially for the short term for the coming days maybe even potentially coming weeks will increase price in low volume potentially a small breakout but again altcoins are still bleeding as we continue to build a base for bitcoin and eth and then the odds can rise so ETH's forming that base at the moment bitcoin is not forming that base at the moment we need to give it more time once we have those two confirmations then you can double around with alts for now there's just too much low volatility all these coins have low volatility pay attention to the volume bars at the, at the bottom here all low volatility bond down if we have a look at chilies you can see volatility down okay even that you can see closing mid on the bar and uh, mid on the on the candle and a high week indicating that there was just too much selling try to go up in price too much selling knock back down could it go up in price absolutely it can but you can still see volatility volatility is low volatility low across the board hence we need a long duration of low volatility indicating accumulation then double around your alts hopefully that makes sense and lastly, I just want to talk about the S&P 500 because you need to be looking at this one if you want to have a good indication of crypto. There's your bounce on the 50% during the 10th of October and we've been bouncing it there. Now, I do want us to come and test this area at least another one or two times indicating that the low is in and then we can continue to go higher. I want something like that. So basically get three touches on the 50% indicating that we have tested multiple times. Smart money has come in to support the American market. Hence, the American market gets supported, the rest of the world and other markets start to get support. That's signals the low time to start going higher from here that's what i'm looking for but for the time being it's really struggled to actually hit its 50 percent unfortunately because it's just too much support for the american shares there's just a lot of uh a lot of support coming in i don't know how else to word it and you can see really really good support coming in just this last week as well so that's why i say altcoins might be in due for a rally because s p is getting support as well so you can see how they all have positive correlations together if we have a look at us us uh, us dollar dominance you can see very very high up thrust so you can see look at that candle guys it tries to up 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 in dominance slammed back down that is beautiful to see weakness again same thing with the other dexy dominance as well up 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 come slamming down so do expect crypto to continue to to go up for the short term being government bonds 10 year yield as well going down as well so 2023 looking like it might be the accumulation year that we've been waiting for everyone thought it was going to happen in 2022 it didn't quite happen with the american shares it did but for crypto it didn't so we need it to happen for crypto low volatility long drawn out price ranges in a zigzag line and that's what you want for several months indicating the low is in but for now risk off assets are going down risk on assets are getting some support hence we're going for a short term rally but again be vigilant because these things can change at any time given the state of the economy and the political agenda around the world for now but i hope this video helped again if it did subscribe to the channel if you want to see more altcoin reviews and once a week i cover the market update if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below be careful of scammers in the comment section below they are there i do my best to remove them uh, but sometimes i'm just doing other things so just be careful of any, of any scammers out there uh, pumping any sort of altcoins. But until then, everyone, have a fantastic 2023 and I will catch you in the next video.